Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I decided to try the DXVK wrapper on American Truck Sim, and surprisingly the game launched, so why don't we check the performance together and see how well it actually runs. So as far as the graphics settings go, we're pretty much maxed out here, 1080p. Let's hop straight in. Um, look at that. Very nice graphics, huh? Anywho, um, let's get inside and drive out of here. 63, 64. Not really impressive, but a good number nonetheless. Alright, so let's get this truck out of here as soon as I can. Um, there you go. Already dipping below 60, that's not really a good thing. 49, oh my god. Perhaps worse than DX11? Hmm. Was this actually a dumb thing to do rather than a game changer move that could alter the course of the whole gaming industry? Oh well. You know, I've. I really got him bored lately, so I'm slapping the VXVK wrapper thing on everything <laughs> and seeing whether they run better than stock or not. So far, I'm not really sure if this one has been an improvement or a downgrade, but one can hope, right? Um, let's see. Oops. I'm hopeful that maybe, you know, because CD environments are a little tricky when it comes to performance because, of course, they are known to not run very well, so bottlenecks or software bottlenecks are expected under such a situation. But once we get out in the highway, that's where we actually get to see the real figures, how much it improved or how much it didn't improve. Because, you know, the DX11 video is up already. So if you guys want to look at the figures under DX11, you can just watch that video. And then compare the results with this video. But so far, it's not really impressive. If anything, highly unimpressive so far. So, I'm um, really wondering whether it was actually a smart move or a dumb move to try to wrap her on American Truck. But, it's still too early to, to say anything, but 39 FPS, I've never seen such a low frame rate, even on the X11. So, yeah, that doesn't make me very confident on the overall performance. But now we have 60 already, once we're finally, you know, driving away from the city. Finally heading into much, much better numbers. Let's see if this trend will maintain itself or... 79, 77, okay. Similar figures to DX11. So, cannot really say, oh, look. It's an improvement because it's clearly not an improvement. So, basically the same thing. Still, now we're looking at 81, okay. We're distancing ourselves from the city. So the frames are finally building up. As you can see, 99% should be load, so that's a good thing. Actually, this is the whole graphics card. That is always welcome. But it's just a part of the equation. It doesn't really matter if you're having 99% GP usage, but it doesn't yield as much as, let's say, DX11 under 80% or, you know, a little less load. Because then again, frames, you know, frames are the whole point. So yeah, even if the usage is lower on the X11, but let's suppose it's yielding more frames than 
be able to do better than this because higher uh, load is not. I mean, of course, it's a good thing. You gotta aim for max FPS and 99% load because that means no bottlenecks, as far as. Uh, I mean, means the bottleneck, which is the GPU being the limiting factor, but. And that's what you should aim for, rather than a CPU bottleneck. But. But. If we. With 80%, you can do what you can do with 99% under Vulcan, then I would consider it an upgrade. Because lo lower load also means lower temperatures. We're looking at 45 now. This is really an impressive. I didn't have such low frames under DX11. So, mm, perhaps Vulcan is not really the way to get better performance at all. I was trying Vulcan because I assumed perhaps it would fix my issue with my frames dipping below uh, 60 at times. Well, if it did such miracles with Grand Theft Auto, the Saints Row, perhaps it would do the same on American Truck. But as you can see, clearly that's definitely not the case here. Very high RAM usage, low frames, 45. I was getting 55. At the same scenario, same city, I was getting 10, 10 extra FPS. So. Yeah, maybe Vulcan is not really the savior that we need. And not in the moment. But let's keep driving. Let's, let's do the whole trip. And watch the frames. Watch them flow as we go from A to B. That's the whole point. Benchmark, my, my, my benchmark is comprised of a whole trip from city to city. You know, we have the low, the demanding uh, case scenario once we're in the cities, which are where the frames usually tank, and we have the not so demanding scenario where we usually achieve the higher frame rates. So when we are driving on highways, but even apparently, even the, the not so demanding scenario. Um, it's not really performing that impressively compared to the X11. Which then again, I didn't see 99% load under the X11, but the frames, the frame average was higher. Anyway, so. Anyhow. So. I. I'm not really sure if I call this a win. Then again, no lining engine, I'm not like very familiar still. I haven't played much on their 1.40, so I cannot really tell. Hey, this is really worse than the X11. But from what I've seen myself so far, under the short burst of the short bursts of testing that I've done over the past uh, few, um, let's see, well, it's not weeks, but you know. From what that, that experience I gathered on the short burst of short burst of testing around and driving around, I'm not really sure if I can consider this a very uh, a very nice improvement. Not really. More of a downgrade rather than an upgrade. I I assumed uh, it would set 99%. Because Vulcan is a lot more GPU intensive, so it's gonna make the graphics card work a lot more, and consequently yield uh, better frames. But what I see here is not really that. At some some moments, I I, I really noticed uh, higher frames when it was actually using 99% of the card. Like external views, it performs better than the X11, but. Generally, for like 80% of the driving, it's actually worse than the X11. So, as much as I would love to say, hey, this was an upgrade and uh, performance so much better now, it really, it's really saddening. But yeah, 
I don't know, maybe it's because I'm recording. I will, I will drive an entire uh, job without recording to see whether that repeats or if it's because I'm recording because I noticed already that the game capture doesn't really work. It was 10 King FPS. Like I was having several issues regarding uh, performance. To the point it was locked at like 20 FPS while using game capture. Then I switched to desktop capture and the frames got better. But they didn't get to the point where, you know, they didn't feel as crisp and smooth as they felt once I, I was just uh, testing out. Like when I loaded the game for the first time in Vulcan just to make sure, hey, does it actually launch with this setting? And it did launch. I was like, wow, that's impressive. Didn't crash. I was thinking it would just crash, but it loaded just fine. And then I, I, I moved my, my truck to Fort Collins. And it was 60 FPS. I paused the game, launched the OBS to start recording. I mean, I got, I got, I got the load, and you know, attached the trailer and stuff, and then I minimized, opened OBS. And then suddenly my 60 FPS vanished. So perhaps it's just Vulcan not dealing very well with screen recording. That could very well be the case. But it could also be that Vulcan is not really, you know, the solution here. Understandably so, because this is not really an official patch. It's not like, oh, the devs actually made it for Vulcan. This is just a wrapper. So mileage may vary. It, it works very well for some games, but it's not everything that actually performs uh, decently enough. Sometimes it does perform worse. It's not like a magic shampoo that you know makes bald man hairy and stuff. It's not like that. It's uh, it's not that magic. So even though it does, uh, it does happen to be. A magic solution for some titles it's not everything that benefits from it and it's clearly the case of American truck unless unless it's the fact that I'm recording maybe Vulcan doesn't like recording maybe Vulcan plus American truck sim equals not bad not good for recording not recording material maybe that's the case and without recording actually runs well but I'm not really sure Honestly, it doesn't, because recording doesn't really ta tank the frames that much, you know, it does affect performance, but it's usually very, very slight, it's a very slight impact, like 1, 2 FPS, it's not more than 10 FPS, I mean, compared to DX11 under recording, I'm not comparing two figures without recording, I'm comparing recording, uh, but both figures are while recording. So that's a little disappointing, but one can hope, one can truly hope it's just a, a minor issue from recording. I'm going to test that now and uh, the video description is going to mention whether that's the case, whether it confirms it, like oh recording was the culprit, it actually runs better while not recording. Or no, recording was not a culprit. It's actually, uh, it's actually shit. It runs like that one. Recording or without recording, it, it just happens to be a mess. So, as you can see, external camera forces the GPU 99%. We look at amazing 70 FPS. But once we get inside, the figure suddenly changes massively. So it goes from 60 to 55. When we go outside again, look at that, brilliantly back to 77, 81, 99% usage. We go back in, it's not 99 anymore, it's 88. So there's clearly something going on here. I don't know whether it's due to recording, once again. But yeah, there's clearly something off. And I'm, I'm going to figure out what's wrong. Pretty sure it's something dumb that could be causing it. If I find a way to force 99% inside and outside, then we might finally look at a very solid alternative to DX11. But yeah, that's it for the video. That was today's experiment. 
<laughs> disappointingly so not very uh productive but yeah i'm gonna run more i'm gonna do more experimenting off uh, camera and you know add that to the video description well feedback's much appreciated so if you guys have any suggestions any you know any sort of input whether it's positive or negative it's much appreciated so don't be shy your input's really really appreciated uh y'all have a great one see you the next video hopefully a more positive video rather than this because that was really sad today very frustrating and of course i've minimized uh there you go